welcome to our series with uh, Raw Images. Uh, we are going around the valley and interviewing different chefs who have a passion about cooking and, and stories to go along with that. Today I'm with uh, founder of Rule of Little Irish Pub in Tempe, Steve Lewis, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his pub. It has a very special story and then show us a little bit about how he cooks cabbage. Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and what brought you wanting to bring this pub to you? Well, this is, a, this is a Guinness pub. It's the only one in Arizona, meaning that it's an authentic pub that was built in Ireland, and it's a real deal, and disassembled, sh shipped over the pond, and reassembled in Tempe. It's one of a kind, it's very unique, a lot of unique antiques, and Irish antiques, and um, you know, just a wonderful feel to it. So you said you worked for Guinness? Yes, I was, um, I was retained by them to bring their Irish pub concept over to the United States and Americanize it. And I was their executive chef and I wrote the cookbook for the Irish pub concept in the United States. So the recipes that we see here are were derived from your work there? Yes, the, the, our, our, all our recipes here are from the basic Guinness cookbook. That's awesome. So is that what distinguishes you from other Irish pubs that may look like you? Well, the thing that really distinguishes us is we're really a step up in quality. Quality food, quality beverage, and uh, the interiors are all hand done. They're not at Home Depot or uh, imitation. So when you say you brought a pub over from Ireland, you actually found one, took it apart, brought it over, and rebuilt it, and that's what we see now? No, it's pieces of different pubs. And in Ireland, there are no two pubs that are alike. And they are pieced over the years. Some of these pubs are over 100 so they, they're made up of different salvage from different pubs, and that's what we did here. We have the bar from one pub, we've got some salvage pieces from the old courthouse in Waterford to sit on for our benches. All the tables and uh, stools are from Belfast, so we're, we've got a good variety of things. And here I have a salmon, salmon pot. And this salmon pot was found in the woods up in Northern Ireland, up in County Moy. And it was used during the Great Famine to feed the masses. And, and, one, and one of the things they probably cooked in that pot was cabbage. Which brings us to what you're going to show us today that's a little bit different than cabbage you might find in other places. What are you going to show us how to cook? Well, like I said, we like quality here and like to put a little bit of different spin on things. Most Americans, when they have cabbage, have it either boiled or steamed kind of boring, and they usually have it maybe once a year with corned beef and cabbage. And that may be why they don't like it, too. Right. So I'm going to show you how to do it, cook it using a really old world recipe. And this is a recipe that would be typical of a couple hundred years ago over in Europe. You know, in Europe, the people were poor. They had vegetables, they ate off the land, they didn't have very much meat. So they would take scraps of meat and use it to flavor their vegetables. And this is a very easy recipe. It's sautéed cabbage. It's not boiled or steamed. It's sautéed in a pan. And the only ingredients are bacon, a little bit of white wine, and a little bit of uh, cider vinegar just to balance the grease and the bacon. Well, I think now that you said wine and bacon, you've got the attention of some people who otherwise might have turned us off by now. So I want to see what you do. Simple's good. So we'll start off with cutting our cabbage. And we're going to cut it two or three inch pieces. I have a question while you're doing that. When someone's shopping for cabbage, is there a way to know when it's a good head of cabbage? I think just by looking at it, I, think, I don't think you can go wrong in the United States with cabbage. So it's pretty much all good quality. But you want to cut it in fours, and then core it. The core is right here. It's the easiest way to core it. Just cut it in fours. Just cut your core out. You know, it was interesting when I was talking to you about preparing for this video, I was looking for something special and fancy, and as you're talking, I realized that Irish cooking and probably country cooking in general is simple, because as you said, people didn't have one. Fresh ingredients, mm -hmm. and you know, fresh ingredients, that's all you need. And really, I think a lot of times people think they can't cook because it has to be fancy, and you're showing it so you just have a few things at home. You can, put you can throw delicious. this together, and I guarantee 
you will love this, and you, you'll probably end up serving this throughout the year. Now you can serve this with a side of any kind of meat. You can serve it with, uh, with any kind of sausage or knockwurst, or pork chops, or any, anything like that. Okay, so our cabbage is now cut two to three inch slices, about that size. We're going to cut our bacon. Any special kind of bacon? No, well, I'm using applewood smoked bacon. I like applewood smoked bacon, it's got a nice flavor. So, to one head of cabbage, you're going to have about four or five ounces, if you really like bacon, maybe six ounces of uh, bacon. And you want to cut it in small pieces. So, you go long ways, you can turn it sideways. Simple as that. Three minutes to make cabbage. Now all we're going to totally, do is cook that's it. Super easy. Very easy. Now we're ready to braise. So we'll go into the kitchen and we'll start cooking this up. Right. It's real simple. Very simple ingredients. Like I said before. First, we're going to take our bacon and sauté it. And we're going to get a good melted base of uh, fat. Let's crisp that bacon up. This will take about five minutes. Then we're going to add our cabbage, sauté. Uh, basically, you can tell when bacon's done by it, it's brown. It depends how crispy you'd like it. This bacon here, we like to get fairly crispy for this dish. So this looks like it's about done, as you can see. It's browning up very nicely. Now what we want to do is add our cabbage. We want to incorporate that bacon like we into that cabbage. How many people Oh, I would say a whole head of cabbage like this could probably feed at least uh, 15 people for, for a side of vegetable. Which is why you were saying this is something that was, um, it was economical and a way to feed people when they were little. Right. They could save it cold, eat it the next day, uh, and then any leftovers they can make soup out of. Very versatile vegetable. Right. Now we've got our our bacon and our grease all incorporated in with the cabbage and the cabbage is sauté. So now it's the time to add a little bit of wine and a little bit of vinegar. Now to balance the vinegar is just to balance that bacon and that fat. So I'm going to put the wine in first, maybe about two or three ounces, four ounces if you like a lot of wine. Maybe a tablespoon or two, a tablespoon or two of cider vinegar. You can also use lemon juice if you like, but the cider vinegar flavor really balances well with the applewood smoked bacon that we're using today. This is almost done. We're about a minute to two minutes from being done. You want to cook this al dente, and we'll continue to cook after you take it off the fire. Nice and hot. It also turns a nice green. Yes, and it should stay that color. It should be green. It shouldn't be a washed out white, which is what happens when you steam cabbage or boil it. It's a beautiful, vibrant green. Fresh vegetable. And that is done. Very simple, very economic. Low skill level. <laughs> Anybody can do this at home. One of the things that we do here at Mulabula with our cabbages, we serve it with our famous corned beef. When we cook our corned beef in beer, we actually cook it in Guinness. I'm just going to cut some corned beef here. You want to cut it across the grain. Trim it out. Cabbage dish that we cook on the
side dish is delicious, and you can have it as a vegetarian. Without the bacon as a vegetarian dish, or with the bacon just as a vegetable, you want to make a meal out of it, all you have to do is serve protein. This would be our protein right here. Slice that down. It's a fantastic accompaniment to the cabbage. Thank you, Steve Lunas, for helping us out with this great video and um, one of the